Kelly. Former President Trump made a stop in the Permian Basin today, attending a private fundraiser for his local supporters. Our Jesse Zaragoza is live right now at the Midland International Airport, where former President Trump just took off. Jesse, what can you tell us from his visit today? Hey, how's it going, Chris? And that's right. Former President Trump's plane did shut down earlier this morning. And let me tell you, there were a good amount of people outside of MAF hoping to get a picture of the former president. Now, Trump was greeted by Representative August Pfluger as he got off the plane before heading off to a, pro to a private fundraiser in Midland. I got the chance to speak to some of the people at the airport today, and you can feel the emotions as they were feeling both excited and eager to get a picture of Trump on the tarmac. Still pretty exciting, you know, in fact, that we get to actually get a glimpse of uh, Donald Trump. I'm glad that he's coming to Odessa Midland. I mean, that's awesome. He needs to be our president. That's it. A lot of excitement there today, and the fundraiser has wrapped up. The former president has taken off already as he's back on the campaign trail. Next stop for Trump will be Michigan, where he'll meet up with running mate J.D. Vance tomorrow. Reporting live in Midland, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big 2 News. Back to you in studio. All right, Jesse, thank you. There may still be a little traffic out there, but for all roads they have that were closed today, for today's appearance, should be open now. We got a look at the chance to catch up with Rep. Fluger, who spoke with us a little bit about his purpose. This was an event to come out uh, and raise money for his campaign to get to other states where we know Michigan and Ohio, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, Nevada and Arizona, places like that. We've got a real fight in, in states that don't like fossil fuels, states that don't appreciate what we do, even though we bring the cost of energy down.